Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all having a fab day. So today I'm going to be taking you all through a whole bunch of products that I have recently gotten my hands on and have not yet tested out myself. So I'm going to be doing, as you can probably see by the title, um, a whole full face first impressions of Bobbi Brown products. But recently um, Bobbi Brown invited a whole heap of YouTubers um, in Australia over to one of their stores and we got to just try everything they showed us, all the products, talk us through everything and left with a full face of Bobby Brown. So I'm just gonna delve straight into this bag and just see what we can come up with. So if memory serves me correctly, she didn't really actually prime my skin. She used this hydrating face tonic um, and kind of just said that that would be enough. If I just prime my skin with all like the skincare products, then that would be enough. I did receive more skincare products than this, but you guys know I have a pretty set routine. But um, I'm going to be just spraying on, or patting on, <laughs> some hydrating face tonic and it's just enriched with mineral water and cucumber extract which sounds delish. This literally just feels so like, hydrating and fresh. So now just to go in with this foundation, it is the Intensive Skin Serum Foundation with an SPF of 25. Um, how beautiful is this bottle? Can we just like talk about that for a minute? <laughs> it's like porcelain, just beautiful, and it has a little dropper. I do have a feeling that this is going to be a little bit too light for my skin, um, but you know, we'll just go with it. I never usually like the colors that makeup artists pick out for my skin. I usually just like like what I pick out, but um, we're going to go with it and we're going to see what happens. One issue with Bobbi Brown is that they're just a little bit to yellow tone for my skin because I have quite pinky to neutral tones. Um, so I do struggle to find a foundation shade from them that will match me properly. Okay, so I'm finding that that's not really blending into my skin as nicely as I would like it to. So I'm just going to resort to my fingers instead. It's a very dewy and light foundation. Um, it hasn't got much coverage. I'm actually going to go in with a different foundation to add some more coverage, but it has a lovely like natural dewy effect on the skin, which is really nice. So as you can see, that's actually like really natural and really dewy, so I do really like that effect. I just don't know if it's kind of going to be sturdy enough to last throughout the day. We'll see. Um, but I am now going to go in with this skin foundation stick over the areas that I have a little bit more you know, I need a bit more coverage, and it's the Skin Foundation Stick in the shade Warm Ivory, which is once again the lighter shade, so we're gonna be hoping it's gonna work. I feel like this is quite yellow based, it'll be okay, but um, I don't usually go for this light. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about that second foundation stick. My skin feels a little bit more cakey now. Um, I don't know if that's just because I combined the two, but that's what the makeup artist did on me anyway. But I really actually do like the dewy effect of the original one. So now to conceal, I'm gonna go in with this Intensive Skin Serum Corrector. How pretty is the packaging once again? Oh, anyway. Um, this one is in Light Fist, which is number two. It's a lot more pinky tone, which I'm happy about because I feel like this is going to work better for my skin tone. And especially for the under the eyes because it's quite salmon-y, so it's going to cancel out any corrections you need to make. And then I'm going to also take um, Ivory 2, which is a more yellow base, which is similar to the foundation color I use, and put it over my blemish areas, down the nose, a little bit under here. I'm just going to mix it up a bit so it gets a good colour. So this concealer has a really nice amount of coverage. It's quite medium. It does cover everything it needs to cover, but it's quite dewy still and I don't know how I feel about having everything on my face so dewy. I just feel like it's all going to like rub off. But the skin actually, in actual fact, does look really glowy and gorgeous. I'm just getting paranoid, I think, that it's all just going to wash off because I'm not used to such dewy situations. So then to set that all in place, I'm going in with this sheer finish pressed powder in Sunny Beige, which is number two. Um, and I'm just going to pat that over the areas in my T-section, which I think I'm going to get oily. That is actually a really beautiful powder. 
That goes on so smooth, that's so pretty. So that has definitely mattified the skin a lot. So if you do prefer it to stay quite dewy, I'd go in with maybe like a translucent powder from a different brand that's gonna keep it quite dewy. Cause that has definitely sort of fixed the dew situation. So now for a contour, I'm gonna take this um, bronzing powder in golden light. It just looks like this, it's quite natural and good for light skin tones, I think so. Um, so I'm gonna go in with that and just do a little bit of contour and bronze up on the side. I'm not gonna go too intense because the foundation is so light. So I'm just gonna be very sparing. Oh my gosh, it's actually really intense. That's actually really intense, wow. Okay, it's really pretty, but be careful because it actually comes out really quite powerful. I really like that, I really like that bronzer. I think it really warms up the face really, really well. Happy. Now for a blush, I absolutely fell in love with this shade when I saw it. It is um, Coral Sugar, number 45, and oh, it is so pretty, I had to have it. I was like, that color, I need it in my life. I actually think this is gonna become one of my favorite, favorite blushes ever. But we ran pretty well known for their blushes, so I'm really excited to try this out. It's like a corally, rosy color. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. It's so subtle, yet so pretty. Mm. I remember someone like, I think it was Lauren Curtis maybe, had a Bobbi Brown really light pink blush and ever since then I was like, I need this in my life, I'm not gonna be complete until I have this. Oh. Now for a highlight, um, Bobbi Brown has like very sort of cold highlights. I'm going in with the Brightening Brick and Pastel Pink. How pretty is this? Look at that, it's just so gorgeous. I'm really excited for this. Um, the Shimmer Brick is like their really, really famous one, but I'm really excited for this because it just looks so gorgeous and I think it's gonna go really well with the blush that I just put on, so we shall see. So I'm just lightly putting that on the places that the light would naturally hit me. Um, and it looks really pretty. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's just a really nice sort of sheen. My only, I think, issue with that, and it's absolutely beautiful, is that it is a little tiny bit shimmery. Um, I do prefer my highlights to be very natural on the skin, but I think that's just like, there's like a couple of shimmery ones in the corner that it comes off, but you know what? I actually don't think you can really tell. So moving on to brows now, I'm taking the um, perfectly defined longwear brow pencil in the shade Blonde. Um, this is actually surprisingly a little bit dark for blonde, I feel. But I do think that for my hair color, this is actually gonna be perfect. And let's see how it goes. It's very similar to the Hourglass one, just the way it is shaped. Ooh, I like. That's like the perfect color for me. I'm really enjoying that. That is like the perfect color for me. And it looks really, really natural too. You know what, I really like that. I really, really, really like that product. If you are looking for a brow product, perfectly defined long wear brow pencil. I like it. Now for eyeshadow, I'm gonna keep it very, very simple and I'm just going in with this long wear creamy shadow stick and it's in the shade Dusty Mauve. I'm just gonna rub it all over my eyelids and blend it in with my finger. So because I feel like that's actually quite matte, I'm gonna go in with this brick again and I'm just gonna put a little bit of the top corner shade into the inner corners of my eyes just to give them that little bit of extra depth and brighten up the middle. So for liner, you cannot go past a gel liner with me. You guys know that, I'm obsessed with them. Um, but I'm actually going in with this longwear gel liner in Espresso Ink. Espresso Ink, yeah. Number seven, so it's actually like kind of a little bit of a brown shade and it's just gonna make my whole situation look a bit more natural. And I'm not gonna go crazy with this wing or anything, it's just gonna be like a very natural sort of line. So that 
it's very natural, but I don't know. It's not as pigmented. I don't know if I need to blend the brush, but I just feel like it's not as pigmented as I would expect it to be. But I really like the effects. It comes across quite natural. Okay, so now it's time for like literally the star of the show. This is their brand new mascara. Like no one owns this. You can't even buy it yet. Oh, it's so good. I tried it on when I was there. It's the eye-opening mascara in black. Mm, so pretty. And literally it looked like I was wearing false lashes. Everyone was like, do they put lashes on you? And I was like, nope. So I'm going to show you this now. I am already so sold by this because I've tried it before. Um, when it comes out, you guys need to just like pounce on it because I'm not even kidding. This is like the next level of mascara. <laughs> So that's the difference. You guys can see that is just so good. Oh, I love it. I just absolutely love this mascara. It's just so volumizing that your eyes just, I feel like I'm wearing falsies when I wear it. So now onto lipsticks. Um, I'm going to go in with this Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade Downtown Plum. It's actually quite dark. I've never used it before, this one. Um, I would much prefer to use a pinky tone, but I actually just don't have a pinky tone on me. With my cheeks being so flushed, it would be nice, but I think this is still gonna work out fine. It's just a bit dark for the blush. But I'm gonna go in with that now. It's very similar to Twig from MAC. So I take it back, it's not quite twig, it's a lot darker than twig, but it's still like a very nice wintry and sort of autumny shade. So if you're in seasons like that, I think it would be perfect. Um, I do still like how it turns out on my skin tone. I think it has a nice effect. Just is a lot more wintry, I think. So guys, this is the finished look. I have a full face of Bobbi Brown right now. I really hope you can see, but it is very natural and dewy. Um, this lipstick is just a little bit intense, I think, but it still goes with the look quite well. Um, some highlights of the whole of Bobbi Brown. Definitely number one is this new mascara. I love it so much. Um, it's probably going to be one of my new holy grails. Um, another highlight for me was definitely the bronzing powder in Golden Light. I feel like this is just a beautiful, beautiful effect for the pale skin. Found it to be really, really nice in application. Also, you can probably guess as well, the blush was definitely a highlight for me. One of my favorite things of this entire look. Um, so yeah, they were my favorites. I generally did not have a single product in there that I really didn't like. Um, I think the only letdown was probably this cream shadow. I feel like it didn't have as much pigment as I had hoped. It doesn't have much sheen to it. Um, and maybe the um, skin foundation stick wasn't quite to my expectations. It just was a little bit more cakey than I had expected it to be but the serum the um foundation serum pia was absolutely gorgeous the way it was just so dewy on my skin so overall i think this video was like really fun to film if you guys like seeing these type of videos where i just sort of review and have first impressions of like a whole brand of makeup or a certain type of makeup let me know i'd love to know from you guys what type of videos you want to see in the new year um yeah bobby brown i liked it i definitely liked it this lipstick is really creamy too so I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you again next week with another video. Please don't forget to go down and give us a little like and a comment and share around, give us some love. Um, and I will see you all guys, see you all guys. I will see you guys all next week with another video. So my twist on this is that this is my 2015 Holy Grail products. So these products didn't have to come out in 2015. They were just things that I discovered in 2015, things that became my obsessions, things that became my everyday holy grail products that I use all the time.